with Gypsy Fay Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. Back with some more fall inspired soaps and these are inspired by desserts. This time of year always gets me excited about making pumpkin soaps like pumpkin pie and pumpkin donuts. I am making two soaps in one video. You know when I get a little ambitious and want to do a couple different designs that is what I am going to be doing today. Pumpkin shaped I'm going for with the donuts and of course pie shapes for the pumpkin pie and I've made the, those before and I had a lot of fun doing that and I am thinking twice about something right here because I am doing two soap designs in this I want to make sure that I do this right I'm going to use a whisk and just whisk in my lye solution into my oils there's a lot going on in this bucket between my typical oils I've also added in some pumpkin seed oil and there's my kaolin clay tessa silk and coconut milk powder in here so I'm going to start by just whisk whisking this together because I want to put some off to the side for some piping on the pumpkin pies like a little whipped cream topping on there should probably have a bigger bowl but it'll be okay. So I have in this little container here some titanium dioxide and water. And so I'm going to set that off to the side till everything is done. And I can pipe that on top of the pumpkin pies. So I think that looks good. Really heavy. And that looks about good. Set that off to the side. I have this little mini whisk that I'll use to whisk that together. Before I do anything else, I want to add some pumpkin seed powder to this, which is going to be a little bit of color in there. Just bumping into things. So a little bit of that natural colorant and all the beneficial nutrients that come in there as well. And then I'm going to be adding some walnut shell powder. And this is going to look like little specks of like if you made a cake and it had cinnamon in it, I suppose is what I'm going for. Somewhat of an exfoliator, but I'm not putting too much in there. I just want that to look like little cinnamon spice bits in there. So mix that in. And then I will split this up into two colors. I am going to in this little container, keep some of this batter this color so that I can make a crust layer on the cake. And then the rest of it, I'm going to color in this mango tango color. And I really, really want this to be bright, bright orange. So the fragrance I'm using is called Pumpkin Roll and this is by Nature's Garden and it says it has sweet sugar pumpkin puree spiced with hints of cinnamon and nutmeg layered onto a warm sweet butter crust drizzled with maple and honey and it smells really yummy so I'm going to split that up. It does have a little bit of vanillin to it so it will discolor a little bit. In this lighter color, if it does discolor, I'm perfectly happy with that so that I can get more of a realistic looking crust. I'm not going to mix that in over here quite yet. I'm going to get my pie or cake mold over here and just start with the layer of crust on the bottom of each one of these. Stir in the fragrance. This looks really, really yummy. It smells so good. Mm. I love a good pumpkin scent. So let's put a little layer on each one of these. Next up, I'm going to mix in fragrance and just pour it into these donut molds. I'm going to pour in the rest of the orange batter into these cake molds. I think I'm going to need a smaller spatula to break the fall. Alright, let's try this again. 
So I love the crust of any type of cheesecake or pie. And working in the dental office around the holidays, we get so much desserts from patients and other orthodontists and oral surgeons that we refer to. And there's this one orthodontist that will deliver cheesecakes and pumpkin pie to us. And the cheesecake is huge. It's good, but I always complain that there is never a crust on it. There's just, there should be a crust on cheesecake. That is my opinion. That graham cracker crust is my favorite part. And there's nothing. <laughs> it's so disappointing. And I eat it anyway. I mean, I can complain about the crust, but the rest of it is delicious. But I really think it deserves a crust. Is that just me? Or is no, are there people out there that prefer their cheesecakes without crusts? I also can't imagine being a baker and making a cheesecake without a crust. And that, I don't know, maybe that's just my opinion. I like that buttery graham cracker crust. Right. So I'm going to scrape out this bowl and I'll jiggle this down and then once that white batter has set up, I will come back and put some dollops on these. So the final part of these pumpkin pies is to get my icing dollops on here. I have some little melt and pour pumpkins that I'm gonna stick on here as well and some sugar sprinkles that are in the shape of pumpkins to just finish it off. I'm going to let these sit for 24 hours before I unmold them and I'll also come back and unmold the donut soaps and make the other half. So those aren't quite done yet. So I'm back the next day, I've got my oils all mixed together for the other half of the donut. The camera shut off on me for some reason, so I've also poured off some of this batter into this little granny green mica over here for some piping, just like I did with that pumpkin pie. I poured off the white and set it to the side because I'm going to use it for some piping. It's going to be a little tricky trying to get this shade to match the other half of the donut but I'm going to do my best. So adding all the same ingredients as before, I'll mix this up and I'll pour it into the donut mold and sit the other half of the donut on top of it. So my walnut shells are in, I gotta get my pumpkin powder in here. If I can open it. maybe the battery is low and that is the reason why it shut off on me. Hopefully it doesn't do that again.
So these have been sitting for a couple minutes so that when I go to put the other half on, everything doesn't ooze out the side. And you just be really gentle about putting these on top. So again, nothing oozes out the side, very gently. And then once these have sat for a little bit and my piping is ready to go, I'm going to be putting on some, I guess, lines to make them look like pumpkins. I saw the idea on Pinterest when I was looking up pumpkin donuts. I get a lot of inspiration from Pinterest, so I'll have to put that picture up of where it came from. Um, then I'll come back tomorrow, I'll unmold them, and I'm going to attach some stems to the side of these and some leaves so that when it turns on its side it will look like a little pumpkin in the shape of a donut. So I decided green wasn't the color that I wanted and I hurried up and put in some orange mica in and mixed it in with that green and this is the color it came out to be. It's like a, a brownish orange and I'm perfectly happy with that. I didn't want this to look like it was vines. I want this to look like the creases in the pumpkin. So it kind of looks like chocolate sauce and that is perfectly fine. <laughs> I will use that granny green though when I unmold these and actually put vines and leaves on them. So these have been sitting for about a week now. You can see they have darkened because of the vanillin content in that fragrance. And just if you look up close here, you'll see all the walnut shell powder in there. It really does look like there's little specks of cinnamon in there. So I think those turned out super cute. And then here are the donuts. This is the color that icing made in the end, and I'm not mad at it. So there we go. I think these turned out really cute, but there's still one more thing to do to them. I am going to add some stems to them, which I was playing around with some soap dough and just made these little stem looking dudes <laughs> to put on top and some leaves and some vines. So I have this leaf tip here, but I'm going to start just by putting on some of the batter on top of it and adding the stem like that and then I'll go back and add some leaves to it. And then I have a different color green over here. And I'll just do some squealies to look like vines. And that is it. So there they are. I think they turned out really cute. I'm just going to do that to all of them. I will have these in the shop on the October 25th shop update if you want to purchase one. That is when they will be available as well as the pumpkin pies. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I pay attention to what I'm doing here. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. And until next time, I hope you have a very nice day and I will smell you later.